take. I just gave you all a penny. Everybody got a penny? Yeah. You don't have a penny, you can go grab one. I want us to explore pennies momentarily. I'm sorry. I want you to explore pennies. Uh, oftentimes when you use a coin, besides purchasing things, what are coins used for? Besides, besides used for currency. Flipping. Flipping. Next <laughs> probabilistic thing we use all the time in 243. Well, I shouldn't say all the time, we use it a couple times in 243. Like when Max was putting his crops on. Flip heads, tails. So why do we use coins, flip coins, to decide things like football games and whatnot? Say that again. Because there's a one in two chance of heads and a one in two chance of tails, kind of like the cards in the deck, a fair deck. Beautiful, beautiful. So here's what I want to do today. I want to approach a different question, not flipping a coin. I want to work on spinning a coin. And I want to know what's the probability that we get heads on a coin spin, not, not flip, but spin. Now, we're going to have to move around. We're kind of in a lame room for this. You're going to have to find a flat surface. Austin's got a flat surface. You guys do not. You guys have tilted surfaces. I want to remove that variable from the experiment. So you may have to wander around MODOK to find a flat surface. I think the floor would probably work, assuming that these tiles are pretty flat. They're not bad. You could probably ignore that. So here's what I want you to do. Take your coin. <coughs> Practice right now. Make sure you can do this. You can use the tilted desk to do this. I don't want you to move around and find flat surfaces to do it on instead. We can clear this desk off and you can use this as well. Take the coin and spin it. How many times do you want to do this? Hold it. Make sure you can spin the coin first, then we'll talk about the experimental. And let it go until it falls down on its own. If it falls off the desk, don't count that. Don't count it. It has to be able to spin all the way down to flat. If it hits the little... If it, hit, if it hits anything like a wall or a crack and interrupts, don't count that either. What's up, Carly? Hold that thought. Hold that thought. You're going to spin it. So everybody follow what we're talking about. We're spinning the coin. Let's try on the floor. See what the floor looks like. Are the desks okay? Are they letting them spin all the way out? Are you having a hard time keeping it in the space? Yeah, like that. You know what, guys? The floor looks okay. It, it passes over the cracks okay. If you need more space, the floor's okay too. So the question is, what's the chance of getting heads on a coin spin? Each of you, once you can, once you know you can spin it, get, the trick is getting it spinning. Do it ten times. Ten times, keep track of what you get. Okay? Each of you do it ten times. Keep track of what you get. Then we'll pull our results together, get a nice big sample. 